This video is brought to you by Hexbound.com from Hit Point Press, a witchy supplement for 5e. And by the Roll for Combat actual play podcast and their three ring adventure series. Hello and welcome back to the Gallant Goblin. Today we have another unboxing. This is a box from WizKiz. It just showed up on the doorstep. Thought we could open up together. So let's see what we have inside. Okay, we've got a whole series of things here. Starting off with some Warlock tiles. This is the Tavern Accessory set. As you can see, we've got a Tavern Master, we've got a whole bar set, and a, uh, things for like the tables and some bread and some, even a chicken or two, some stools, a nice fireplace. It looks like a really cool thing. Looks like the um, cupboards here will open and close. Really neat little accessory set. Everybody needs some good tavern stuff, so this is gonna be awesome. And we'll see how, we're gonna do individual reviews of all of these coming up on the channel. Probably uh, one video for each of these products. So you can see everything in depth. Ah, this is the one I've been waiting for. This is the Marketplace. If you watched uh, V Muses, the, the Crafting Muse on YouTube, she did a, uh, an unboxing of this pretty recently. This has got some really cool stuff in here. You got market stalls, you've got tables, you've got a gallows, you've got a really cool like almost Poseidon fountain um, to really set up a town center uh, where a lot of adventures and, and things take place. Um, there's always a scene in a lot of RPGs where someone's about to get hung from the gallows and Roll initiative and see if you can save them before it's a little too late. So in, if you ever wanted uh, some minis for some cabbages, some parsnips, some lemons, and some apples, man, this has got you covered. This also has a really cool uh, town bell mini. So you can have that exciting moment where you're trying to take out the town guard and this corrupt town before they can get a chance to get to the bell to ring for reinforcement. So that's going to be a fun one, too. So that's the marketplace. And I've got a few more... Accessory sets and the accessory sets are where it's at. I think a lot of the times this one looks like it goes with the tavern as well This is the kitchen So you've got a little bit more you got another some stove a wood-burning stove You've got a couple of shelving units a few more things of food um, Just everything you need to you know run that kitchen some stoves an island You've even got the privy in here, which I don't know if you necessarily want in the kitchen, but that's fine <laughs> An outhouse is included so to really uh, flesh out that tavern or that inn that you might be trying to set up. So that's going to be an exciting one too. All right, let's see what other accessories we have going on here. Maybe not necessarily for your tavern or your inn, but this one's your torture chamber for maybe deep in the dungeon. Uh, you got your Iron Maiden and your Pendulum Scythe Trap. What are some of these things? You got a spiked chair. That doesn't sound fun. Uh, torture crosses, cages, drowning troughs. This one's not for the lighthearted. Oh, uh, wow. You even have a, bra a brazen bull with an opening on its back. I don't have to do some history into ancient torture devices to see where they got some inspiration for some of this stuff. I'm not sure if that's going to be the most fun video we've ever made, but if you are looking for um, an interesting dungeon to build for your game, this is going to be the set for you. Okay. Next, we have another accessory set. This is Merchants. And again, I guess this goes along with our city square marketplace. You've got a bunch of vendors, an executioner, a couple more stalls to keep your uh, town square hopping. You even have a little uh, fake tree trunk, uh, tree stump, where some bandits can stash some of their um, misbegotten goods. You've got a friar and a diplomat. This is a really cool one. You've got a, a place for a tanner to sell their wares. A couple of uh, shelving units to put some things on. Another trough. Oh, this is another cool one. So these two together are going to make a really cool little city square for your towns. And a lot of interesting things happen at city squares. Next we have the town watch. So this is one. This one has a lot of other um, minis in it, painted minis. Uh, let's see what they call them. You've got actors and actresses, thieves and sheriffs and bailiffs and pirates and blacksmiths. Uh, you got a whole blacksmithing unit here. You got a forge with removable coal. Um, you've got the bellows. Uh, wow, look at this. You got a suit of armor on the rack, some tongs and hammers, everything to set up a little blacksmithing uh, shop in town. So that's cool. All sorts of little tools. You can use those shelving units that we saw in uh, this merchant set to put some of these tools on. So yeah, it's another really cool one. If you like sets that include pre-painted pre townsfolk minis, these look like good options 
They're hard to come by. There's some sets out there that have unpainted Town Folks minis, uh, but not too many that have the actual uh, pre-painted ones. So I'm excited about that. The rest of these are larger sets. Let's see what we've got. We've got Town and Village 3. We have Town and Village 2 upstairs that I'm working on the video for right now. 2 is the one that includes the full height 2-inch walls. The first set that we reviewed, uh, Town and Village 1 and was it called the Dungeons 1, Dungeon Tiles 1? They included half walls, which are one inch tall. So what Town and Village 3 brings you are angled rooms and half walls. And yeah, so you can see here, yeah, you got the angles expansion. If you want to build non uh, 90 degree walls, you can make some interesting little hallways and angular rooms to really bring some life to your rooms. Having everything be squares and rectangles kind of, uh, it's a little, I don't know, not true to life sometimes. This can make things a little bit more exciting. You got some triangular floors to give you some options here. So this will be a fun one to put together to kind of see where uh, we can take our builds, maybe elevate them with a little bit more life. And these all include the easy clips. If you saw our video fairly recently for one of the accessory kit, kits, I think it was, they've changed out the clips that they use. These are a softer plastic that's a lot easier on the fingertips and a lot easier to put your tiles together and take them apart. With the old clips, I kind of was reluctant to even take them apart when I was done with them because it was a bit difficult to put them back together again. To take the clip out, I would actually get some tongs out to pull them out. This solves that problem, these easy clips. So that is good to have there too. What else we have in here? To go along with that, we got Dungeon Tiles 3, which is the same thing and it includes those angled rooms. So it says uh, create diagonal hallways and more to change your scenes up. So very similar thing, but this is for the, uh, uh, for the dungeon. And of course, all these are compatible. You can put your, these just include the plaster walls and the wooden floors, and this is your stone walls and stone floors. And the tiles, the floor tiles themselves are double-sided. Uh, I believe if they were like the previous sets, the tiles in this one and the towns and the town and village ones, the floors are the same. There's a double-sided wood on one side, stone on the other. The walls are what's actually different. But we'll see if that remains true for these as well. I don't see why it isn't. It does say on the back that they are um, stone slash wood angled tiles. So that's going to be interesting one to look at. Here's what I've been waiting for to, I guess Town and Village 3 has a couple of different options. This is your curved walls. And so you've got some outside curves and inside curves and half walls and some curved uh, window walls. So this will really liven up your builds. This looks really interesting. So trying to put all of these together is going to be, we're going to see what we can get with some angled rooms, some curved walls, some straight walls. We should be able to build some really interesting setups. So I'm excited to try this out. I'm running out of room up here. And to go with that, yet here is Dungeon Tiles 3 curved walls for the Dungeon Tile set. Same thing, but with the different walls. So that's gonna be really interesting. I'm really curious to see how well all these sets play together. And we got one more thing in here, I think. Well, one tiny little thing in the bottom. Oh, this one's really heavy. This is the other one that we really need for our marketplace. This is, what do they call it? Town Square. So this has some of those uh, streets uh, outside your, your, um, your taverns and your inns. What do they call them? Cobble cobblestone street tiles, flagstone sidewalk tiles, half streets, corners, left turns, right turns, storm drains, iron grate lids. Uh, looks like the grates come off. Uh, yeah, and they're multi, yeah, the curb I think is multi-level, so it has a little bit of verticality to it. This should be a lot of fun. Um, lamp posts, I really wanna do, I might do this one first. Uh, we'll do this one and do some of these merchants and accessories. The only other thing at the bottom in here is a little pack of those easy clips. So if you do have the older sets and you just want some easy clips, I do have these available to pick up for just a couple of bucks. I don't think I don't know exactly how much they are, but you can pick these up. I think at your retailer, your online retailer of choice, or your brick and mortar store, or um, at the WizKids store. I don't know if it's at, I don't think it's at dndmini.com, but they do have on the WizKids store because these are not D and D branded. So if you just want some more easy clips to play with, this is the place to go. So tell me here, what are you most interested in? You most interested in the angled walls, the curved walls, the accessory packs? 
I think the outside one's the one I'm the one that I really want to open up and try out. So we're gonna do this one really fast. So we're gonna have a lot of Dungeon Tells videos coming up and hopefully they'll be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to seeing what we've got. Uh, we do want to thank our sponsors for this video who make everything possible. First, Hexbound by Hit Point Press and Antonio Demico, the creator of Dragon Stew. You know Hit Point Press from Humblewood, Hecna, and the Big Bad Booklet series. Hexbound is a witchy supplement for 5th edition that's live right now on Kickstarter. Hexbound lets you enhance your characters with new subclasses that allow you to make some incredibly diverse witches. You'll be able to sling spells, brew potions, and even punch spirits into the bodies of your enemies. Hexbound also provides you with new spells, witch familiars, backgrounds, a mobile app, and more. You can learn more at Hexbound.com, but if you use the link up in the eye in the corner of your screen or the video description down below, they'll know that we here at the Gallant Goblin sent you. And if you decide to back them, maybe consider giving us here at the Gallant Goblin a little shout out in their comment section of the Kickstarter. All that goes a long way to keeping us in business here. And we want to thank our friends at the Roll for Combat Actual Play Podcast, officially partnered with Paizo to bring you fun and instructive adventures from Pathfinder and Starfinder. Check out their three ring adventure series to see how a bunch of circus performers come together to fight an existential threat to life on the Starstone Isle. And check out all their other adventures on RollForCombat.com. And thank you for watching today. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And if you enjoyed the video, leaving us likes and subscribing to the channel helps us out tremendously. For now, though, stay safe, have fun, please love each other, and I'll see you next time at the Gallant Goblin. Mm -hmm.